Let's give a nice warm welcome to Gary from MasterChef yeah. Australia. I'll add some applause Ooh. into that. Yes. Because yes. you can at least get a renter crowd. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, 50 people at a minimum. Gary, please help us. We've been trying to work out how to pronounce your your Megan. surname. Megan. Yeah. Okay. Old uh, old Irish name, so they can't spell. They added an H and an I for good measure. Ah, that's what always you put, said. Uh, that's yeah. exactly because yes. I said uh, to Hayden, I said it must be Irish because and I heard he said it was a girl's name. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, See, if I'd yeah. known that when I was judging him when he was in the competition, he would have been out much earlier. <laughs> Good to know. Regardless of how good looking and handsome he is. Well, uh, Cindy here Cindy didn't is care. just your biggest fan. Cindy Paluda. She's blushing. She's just going crazy. Oh, she was well, like, it's nice. Hayden I like who? fans. You know, it's, it's it, what's been interesting with the whole MasterChef craze, which in Australia has been remarkable. It's taken food from a lifestyle show, which would have a couple of hundred thousand viewers, to what was effectively Series 3, which is the one that she's finished in Australia, uh, the highest rating show of all time in Australian television, wow. quarter of the population. I can believe Something that. Something like 4.7 million people watched that show. I can totally believe that because Gary said to us, is uh, MasterChef big here? It's like, are you kidding me? Are you? <laughs> it's, n it's nice to find out. Yeah. I mean, we've got Twitter fans, obviously, from all over the world, and mm -hmm. you don't, you can't judge how big something is. I mean, we've got, you know, people. We bump into people in Melbourne, for example, from Venezuela or Mexico, and go, "We watched the show." And so, when you bump into one person, you go, I "Wonder how many people are actually watching." Mm -hmm. So it's a bit of a thrill. I think it's in thirty-three countries. The Australian wow. version. Well, so, I'll, I'll guarantee you, probably one of the highest testing countries is South Africa with Marshall. You know, there, there's in fact two shows. We don't get a lot of Australian shows here, but the two shows that are Equally as good as MasterChef Australia. I'm waiting. And um, <laughs> I wonder what it is. Well, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to play you the intro music to to <laughs> the, the this is just the best. I never miss. This. Is it going to make me sad? Is it going to? <laughs> no, no, it won't. But this show is very popular here in South Africa. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I actually like it. It's Border Control, isn't it? Border Control. I actually love that show. Yeah, we love it too. It's the best. I love it. Because <laughs> there's always a South African that's been busted always. for something. Yeah, bringing in, what is it? Bringing in biltong or something. Yeah. yeah. Have you yeah. got any food in your bags? It, it's not food. <laughs> <laughs> I, my favourites are the, the Chinese because they, they bring suitcases of, you know, dried mm. shrimp and mushrooms and, Stuff you know, never heard uh, of. Yeah, elephant's penis. And then you <laughs> yeah. go, and they go, there's no food. No food. No food. Very yeah, funny. It's medicine, what are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. While you bring your panado, I can bring elephant penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing for a you know, headache, you know. Border control in Australia is very tough. Even when I, ca you know, I, uh, over in Germany recently, and I bought a little spatzly board, which is just like a, a wooden board, and I was nervous going. I just mm. thought, declare it, Gaz, mm. declare it. Yeah. It'll be fine. And I just thought, no, sneak it through, see what happens. Because you, you feel like a, you feel like you're guilty, even if yeah. you're just walking. Through. And I'm sure they're looking at it and going, it, it's him. It, <laughs> you know? He's got to be He's bringing food got stuff out. in his <laughs> yeah. bag. He's found these ingredients from this little <laughs> island. Yeah, all coming home. I want to ask you, uh, how tough is it for your wife to, to for you to come home and for your wife to put a plate of food on the she's, table? She's a reluctant cook, actually. I mean, I cook a lot at home, and and she drives me nuts because often she'll pick up Jenna, who's my daughter from school. She'll do lots of chores, and I'll get home at say six thirty-seven. I go, "What's for dinner?" And she goes, "Oh." I haven't thought about dinner yet. My kind and of I'll woman. Go, my God, woman, you've been married to me for 20 years. And she goes, but you'll whip up something and just walks out, you know. So, so I, I'm the cook do. in the house. Yeah, because I do. Yeah, and, yeah. and she actually reminds me that over the years that what's happened is that I take over anyway. So even if she's making a lasagna, which she's brilliant at and I love it, and if I'm lucky, I get it once a year on my birthday. Um, I'll come in and go, oh, you know. I'll get you... something else on my birthday. Yes. Well, I was going to say that, but I didn't know if it was appropriate. <laughs> but often I just get the lasagna and I've eaten so much of it. She goes, hey, darling, do you fancy? I go, you know what? I'm so full, I can't. <laughs> I'm like Garfield, you know. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll take over. So I'll say, uh, you know, you know, you can put the white sauce in the microwave and then you don't have to. And she'll just go, go away. Or she just disappears and then I finish it off. So Quite right, it's too. a funny thing. And my daughter's a reluctant cook too. So she'll, <laughs> she'll make stuff with me like bread because she thinks maybe dad wants to make it but in reality i probably just want to go to the park and take a dog for a walk so. see darren it's not just me yeah what that doesn't cook oh, i hate it S sam was oh. on a, a brilliant solution be oh, sorry to butt in but brilliant solution for yes. you restaurants thank you 
That's how I make my money. See, how do Sam I feed my kids see. and drive my nice car? There you go. Because <laughs> Sam is is, is uh, one of the worst cooks I've ever seen. Alive. She was also on that TV show. What's it Come called? Come down with me. Come down with me. Oh my gosh. She 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 literally served him pig slop. <laughs> What was stuff. it? What was the dish? Just out of curiosity. Oh, crumbs. Well, it was a lamb ragatouille or something. No, it was pork and macadamia nuts and stuff. Oh, my big slop. God, yeah. even when I hear that, I go. Oh no! You know, eat, eat the macadamia nuts first, and then figure out what you're going to do awful. with the pork. It was awful. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's okay. It's okay to be. You know what's interesting? And they talk about food TV a lot like this. It's, it's almost like a spectator sport. It is. It's yeah, almost it is. like watching sport, and you don't play it yourself. Exactly. You can be mad about sport, but you don't play it yourself. And mm -hmm. it, and food's a bit like that. It's it's food born. People love it. You know, they tweet about it. Yes. Um, they're fascinated by it. And the wonderful, th the wonderful thing about you know your country and ours, and there's a lot of similarities, a lot of a change of foot, and people that have fallen in love. Yeah, there's with. a lot of South Africans in both countries. There is, we, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Australians, I'm sure. There's a big South African community in Melbourne, particularly. Um, and actually, one of my good friends, South African chef, has been doing the whole kind of sosate and big grill thing. And you know that the Australian barbecue is much the same. Mm -hmm. so there, there's yeah. a lot of similarities. Um, but that lovely change in food where people have become fascinated by it, it's good for us. Yes. You know, and I, and I love it. It's it's something that's very emotive and, and personal mm. and, and wonderful. Get into it, woman. Stop I watch banging it. about with macadamia. <laughs> oh, pork. no. Well, you know, we did this. Uh, I brought this up on, on Monday on the show that uh, the world's most Google recipe, yeah. the one thing that people go to Google for and they need to know how to cook this, is lasagna. And there's one guy from allrecipes.com when people Google lasagna this is the recipe that comes out tops so he in fact has the most duplicated recipe in the world all right now he says it's a <laughs> it, it takes three hours to prepare i want to go through the ingredients with you repair. it doesn't know my microwave technique then does it <laughs> <laughs> right yeah go on i'll give you the ingredients and, and tell me if you think this is a is, is, a, is a good uh, the world's it, it's it's officially titled the world's best lasagna okay like you know when you, you when you ever see the world's best yeah. Never go there. Yeah. It's like when you see the world's best fish and chips, walk away. True. Because <laughs> they're lying. He's lying. I know he is already. Go on. Hit are, me with it. Are you guys on the imperial or metric system? Uh, we're on the both. We're confused. Both. No, it's metric, essentially. Metric. Yeah. Okay, go same as us, but this is all in imperial, so we'll just work out. One pound of sweet Italian sausage. Okay, 500 grams. Uh, oh, look at you go. I love an Italian sausage, don't you, darling? All the time. <laughs> Off you go. Go on. Three quarters of a pound lean ground beef. Yep. Half a cup minced onion, mm -hmm. two cloves of garlic crushed. Okay. Twenty-eight ounces of crushed tomatoes. You can read faster, you know. Six. <laughs> I just want you to get it all in. I mean, I'm listening. I'm, 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 already, I'm already cooking it. I'm frying the onions, the sausage. I banged in the Shame. beef. The tomatoes are on standby. Six ounces of tomato paste. Okay, that went in first. Six and a half ounces of canned tomato sauce. Yep. Half a cup of water. Yep. Two tablespoons white sugar. Ugh. One and a half teaspoons dried basil leaves. Oh. Half a teaspoon <laughs> fennel seeds. Yeah, that's all right. One teaspoon Italian seasoning. What the hell's that? I don't I mean, know. Yeah, seriously, it comes I don't know. The something they pop under box. their armpits before they go out at night. <laughs> what is that? A uh, tablespoon of salt. Yeah. Quarter teaspoon ground black pepper. Four tablespoons mm. chopped fresh parsley. Mm. Uh, lasagna sheets. Twelve of them. At least you got some fresh herbs in there. That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> Six ounces of ricotta cheese. Sixteen. 16, sorry. Six ounces. Yeah. One egg, half a teaspoon of salt. There's more Again, salt they're chucking in there. Yes. Up there. How, and then, big, how long is this list of ingredients? It, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's 21 ingredients. Okay. And uh, three quarter pound of mozzarella cheese. Nice. Nice and addition. Then three quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And that is it. <laughs> Do you think that is a world class lasagna? Yeah, you know what? Number one, the the big things, the omissions that I'm missing is the, is the fresh stuff. Where's mm -hmm. the fresh herbs? Where's the thyme? Where's the rosemary? Mm -hmm. Where's the fresh basil, not dry basil? But you know what? It's more about, and I hate to disappoint you after that long list of ingredients. Unless I saw it, unless I tasted it, I couldn't tell you. And you could give that same recipe to five different people and you get five completely disparate uh, dishes. So mm. if that mozzarella is layered in beautifully with that sort of beautiful stew that had been cooked for a long period of time, broken down, all the flavours had sort of gone together, then it would be delicious because it would be all mm. stretchy and cheesy and wonderful. But I think it's a joke recipe because when you read the back and it says how you're supposed to cook it, it starts with in a Dutch oven. 
cook the sausage, ground beef, and everything. And I had a completely different definition for Dutch oven from when I was in the Yes, Dutch oven it involves a duvet sheets, yeah. yes. a duvet and sheets, yeah. and a bed. And I just think that's a bad start. Yeah. All around. Yeah. So it doesn't set the recipe up well. <laughs> Why are we farting in bed and then making lasagna? I don't get it. <laughs> well, Gary, Look, you know what? I, I must say that George made a lasagna on the show that probably had more ingredients that there were tiny little chicken meatballs and uh, shallots and you know caramelized shallots and garlic and mozzarella the whole thing in fact was the most expensive recipe we'd ever put online and was the best lasagna that I'd ever eaten okay. and I remember I bumped into somebody in the supermarket and they go can you tell George that I made this for my family it took three hours mm. and it cost them eighty dollars wow. for all the ingredients <laughs> and I could only say sorry yeah so much for eating at home is cheaper <laughs> Gary it's an absolute honor and a, a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you very much for, for popping in. Enjoy the rest of your time in South Africa. Yep. And the Good Food and Wine Show, well, they just keep upping it every year, don't they? And I was going to say, the plug is get down on the weekend to the yes. Coca-Cola Dome and come and see us, Hayden and I, and also um, Paul Hollywood, who's uh, another star out of the, the cooking world. So get on down. Yeah. Yep. Have a go. It's uh, Coca-Cola Dome, 21 to 24 September. And uh, they will be in their special little celebrity theatre. <laughs> and that's uh, from 10 in the morning till 9 at night, the whole weekend. Gary, thanks very Brilliant. much, sir. I was just thinking, bring your pork chops and macadamias. We'll have a go. Oh. This will be a ready, steady cook thing. Chuck in, chuck in figs. Let's see what Gary can <laughs> and do basil. there. I'm and on basil. it. Done. <laughs> Gary Megan, ladies Thank and gentlemen. Yeah. There you go. The Breakfast Express.